Hey loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are all doing very well. It's been a minute since I've done a beauty related video. I saw this product which was viral on TikTok a few weeks ago and I was instantly sold. I decided to pick it up. I've just not had time to test it. Today is the day I'm finally putting this to test. Beauty Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder which looks like this. And for your info, this brand is by the makeup artist, Denissa Myricks. If you wonder what shade I picked up, I picked up shade 9. They had quite a few shades, I wasn't too sure. So hopefully, this is the right match. I'm going to treat this product like how I treat any base or foundation. First thing what I'm going to use is a primer. The primer that we use today is by Revolution. So it's a matte and fix primer, which is like this. Prior to me applying the primer, I had on my SPF. But yeah, just applying as much as possible, as always. I like to start off with a thick layer of primer. So next thing I like to do is my brows. So let's quickly do that. Now I've filled out my brows, we can move on to finally testing out this blurring balm. I really like the packaging of this. It's just, it's just really cute. <laughs> a star is so nice and compact. And to open it, all you have to do is twist it around like so and this is the rich product i prefer my foundation base to be it's a tad bit darker so i want to highlight and everything it's it comes together better do you know what i mean it has a little spoon which i want to use to scoop i don't want to double dip my brush in the product and then put it on my face i don't know it's just a mental thing so i'm going to definitely scoop it put the back of my palm that's what i'm going to do scoop around like this okay and put that at the back of my palm okay i'm going to get one more scoop actually I feel yeah. like everyone does it in the middle, but look at me, I've gone to do it all the way around. Okay, right, so I'm going to put that at the back of my palm. As you can see, that's how much I'm going to use. So the brush which I'm going to use today is by Real Techniques. So the first swipe. I apply? Oh. That did not feel like I was applying any product. This feels smooth. Oh my. Okay, let's blend this in. It has a light smell to it okay this doesn't feel like I'm, app I'm applying anything but i definitely saw the generous scoop <laughs> that i wow are you kidding me <laughs> obviously i can see the product on the brush but it honestly doesn't feel like i'm applying anything on my face this is weird okay so i've done this side of my face i'm sure you guys Probably can see the difference. This is giving skin. The hype, it made sense. What? No, no. Am I applying anything on my face? It feels like I'm applying moisturizer. I don't, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply more because I'm just confused right now. Yeah, this is a blurring balm, all right? <laughs> This looks like I've put a moisturiser on my face. Do you know what? For the sake of this video, I'm going to apply more. I'm going to apply more because I just don't understand. When I can't feel product on my skin, we've got a winner. I'm going to apply more. We are going to apply more. So you guys can see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so this makes sense. This is a still. It's given a natural glow. I really like the look of this. So so far, this using this by itself, this has stolen my heart. This has stolen my heart. But let's see how it works with other products. It's just a little bit. I'm not gonna do too much there. I'm gonna do like a mini bead, do you know what I mean? So I decided to finish the rest of my face off camera face. I wanted the focus of this video to be on this blurring balm this product blended very well with the rest of the products that i use my blush my finishing powder translucent powder and setting spray and everything was just meshed perfectly together so that's a bonus because i wasn't too sure how it would work with everything else i have that kind of matte finish because of the products that i like to use however as you saw it was definitely dewy so you can leave it on the dewy side if that's what you prefer but i'm more of a matte babe so of course i had to let the finish be matte. So far, I'm loving the way this feels. This feels like I haven't got anything on my face. 
you saw the full coverage that was applied using this wherever you live i'm going to find as many links as possible and leave that in the description bar below so you guys can get your hands on this and try it out too first impressions i'm very much impressed by this i'm definitely interested in trying other products from this brand if you have tried anything else from this brand what have you tried let me know all your must-haves all your faves so that i can try them out too i will give my final take i'm gonna go away and come back in a few hours so you guys can see what it looks like i want to give a proper wear test so that i can see how the product behaves over a period of time technically i would wear makeup between eight to ten hours so we want to see what it's looking like at the end of the day. If you like this video so far, if it comes to this point in the video, do hit the thumbs up button. But yeah, we'll be back in a few hours to give the final verdict. So I'm back. I didn't expect to be gone for this long. I went out and getting home was a madness. I planned to be away for six hours and that six hours turned to nine hours. I have not touched up. Normally, I would have touched up um, throughout the day with my finishing powder and then blocked with some tissue. Nine hours later, it still feels like there's nothing on my face despite me having this full face of makeup. Yeah, so looking in the mirror, I can see I've just got a little dewiness, a little bit of dewiness on my nose and just a little bit on my forehead. So a little bit of oil seeping through. Initial thoughts remain the same. It feels lightweight. It did what it needed to do. It worked together with the other products, as I said. I want to do another tutorial and show you guys, you know, how everything blends together. But yeah, I'm actually highly impressed by this. I feel like this is the first time in a long time where I've tried a new product and I've been so excited to share my feedback or just test it out in general. I will rate this a buy it. The hype about this makes sense. Everyone needs this, you need to try it. It's time for me to take this off. If you want more of these kind of um, reviews, of course, let me know in the comment section down below what you want me to review next and I'll go ahead, buy it, test it out and let you guys know whether you should spend your money or save your coins because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to be your guinea pig. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed and I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys.